molecular cloning has become a routine laboratory technique and it is important to understand the function and specificities of the different enzymes used to generate and manipulate nucleic acids. To obtain or to insert specific properties and characteristics, nucleic acids are extensively manipulated by a number of enzymes including polymerases, ligases, nucleases, phosphatases and methylases. Such manipulations include propagation, ligation, digestion or addition of modifying groups such as phosphate or methyl groups. Nowadays, numerous sources of enzymes are available and selecting the appropriate enzyme for a specific task may seem difficult to the beginner. DNA recombinant technology requires a whole toolkit for modifying manipulating DNA. These tools invariably include a variety of enzymes called as DNA modifying enzymes. These include nucleases, polymerases, ligases. Let's discuss the description of the main enzymes of each group, their properties and mechanism of action. A nucleus is an enzyme capable of cleaving the phosphodiester bonds between the nucleotide subunits of nucleic acids. These enzymes play crucial roles in various DNA repair processes which involve DNA replication, base excision repair, nucleotide excision repair, mismatch repair and double strand break repair. In recent years, new nucleases involved in various DNA repair have been discovered. Deoxyribonucleases cleave DNA whereas ribonucleases cleave RNA. Range of nucleases has found applications in recombinant DNA technology. Some nucleases have a broad range of activities but most are either exonucleases removing nucleotides from the ends of DNA and or RNA molecules or endonucleases making cuts at internal phosphodiester bonds. Some nucleases are specific for DNA and some for RNA. Some work only on double-stranded DNA and others only on single-stranded DNA. The most widely used nucleases are DNAs 1 and RNAs A, both of which are purified from bovine pancreas. Based on their mode of action, they are classified as exonucleases and endonucleases. Exonucleases, they are active at the end of nucleic acid molecules, removes the terminal nucleotide of the DNA molecule by breaking the phosphodiester bond. Different types of exonucleases can be categorized on the basis of number of strands they degrade in a double-stranded DNA molecule. BAL31 BAL31 is isolated from a marine bacterium Alteromonas aspigiana. It is a calcium dependent enzyme that degrades the nucleotides from both the strands of double stranded DNA molecule. The longer the DNA is incubated with BAL31, the shorter the DNA molecule becomes. It also acts as single stranded endonucleases that cleave DNA at nicks, gaps, and single stranded regions. Exonucleus 3, an enzyme isolated from E. coli called exonucleus 3 digests only one strand of the double-stranded DNA molecule. It removes the nucleotide from the 3' terminus of the strand, thus leaving protruding 5' overhangs. Exonucleus 3 is used for generating single-stranded templates. Similar to exonucleases, endonucleases can also be categorized based on whether they act on single or double-stranded DNA. Endonucleases S1 nuclease It is an endonuclease that is isolated from the fungus Aspergillus oryza. It is heat-stable enzyme that functions at high ionic strength, low pH and in the presence of zinc ions. It cleaves only single-stranded DNA. Also, it is able to cleave the single-stranded nicks in double-stranded DNA molecules. DNAs1, another type of endonuclease called as DNAs1 that is isolated from cow's pancreas is a non-specific enzyme. It is able to cleave both single and double-stranded DNAs. It can cleave 
any of the internal phosphodiester bonds, thus prolonged digestion of DNA with DNAs1 results in its complete chewing leaving only a mixture of mononucleotides. Restriction endonucleases Restriction endonuclease is an enzyme that binds to a DNA molecule at a specific sequence and makes a double-stranded cut at or near that sequence. Because of the sequence specificity, it is easy to predict the correct positions of cuts within a DNA molecule. Assuming that the DNA sequence is known, enabling defined segments to be excised from a larger molecule. This ability underlies gene cloning and all other aspects of recombinant DNA technology in which DNA fragments of known sequence are required. Hundreds of restriction endonucleases have been isolated from bacteria and some of them are commercially available. The progress and growth of biotechnology is unbelievable without the availability of restriction enzymes. The cleavage of DNA by these enzymes is very specific at particular sites. Specific order of nucleotide sequences are recognized by restriction enzymes on the DNA that are then cleaved. Two kinds of ends may be formed due to digestion of DNA by different kinds of restriction enzymes. The specific sequence which is recognized by restriction endonucleus enzyme is known as recognition sequence. Majority of restriction endonucleases cut DNA at defined sites within recognition sequence. The cut DNA fragments by restriction endonucleases may have mostly sticky ends or blunt ends. DNA fragments with sticky ends are particularly useful for recombinant DNA experiments. This is because the single stranded sticky DNA ends can easily pair with any other DNA fragments having complementary sticky ends. Ribonucleases Ribonuclease A is an endoribonuclease that cleaves single stranded RNA at the 3' end of pyrimidine residues. It degrades the RNA into 3' phosphorylated mononucleotides and oligonucleotides. Some of the major use of RNAs A are eliminating or reducing RNA contamination in preparations of plasmid DNA, mapping mutations in DNA or RNA by mismatch cleavage. RNAs will cleave the RNA in RNA-DNA hybrids at sites of single base mismatches and the cleavage products can be analyzed. DNA polymerase is an enzyme that synthesizes DNA and one that copies an existing DNA or RNA molecule. It's called a template-dependent DNA polymerase. For initiating DNA synthesis, the enzyme requires primer, a short double-stranded region provides 3'N onto which the enzyme will add new nucleotides. The new polynucleotide synthesized in the 5' to 3' direction. A pool of all the four DNTPs used to synthesize the new DNA strand. In addition, some cofactors like magnesium ions may be required in a buffer solution with correct pH for optimum activity. DNA polymerases can have either 3' to 5' exonuclease or 5' to 3' exonucleases activity. There are different types of DNA polymerases used in recombinant DNA technology. We will study the following types in detail. E. coli DNA polymerase 1 Cleaner fragment, thermostable DNA polymerase, and reverse transcriptase. E. coli DNA polymerase 1. DNA polymerase 1 was discovered by Arthur Kornberg in 1960. It has both the 3' to 5' and 5' to 3' exonucleus activities, which limits its usefulness in DNA manipulation. It catalyzes the template-directed polymerization of nucleotides into duplex DNA in a 5' to 3' direction. DNA polymerase 1 possesses a 3' to 5' exonucleus activity or proofreading function which lowers the error rate during DNA replication and also contains a 5' to 3' exonucleus activity.
which enables the enzyme to replace nucleotides in the growing strand of DNA by NIC translation. DNA polymerase 1 can also excise mismatched regions in DNA. The clean -off fragment. The clean -off fragment is proteolytic product of E. coli DNA polymerase 1 that retains polymerization and 3' to 5' exonuclease activity but lags 5' to 3' exonuclease activity. This clean -off fragment can synthesize the new DNA strand complementary to the template but cannot degrade the existing strand. Clean off polymerase is now rarely used in sequencing and has its major application in DNA labeling. Thermostable DNA polymerase. The E. coli DNA polymerase 1 enzyme has an optimum reaction temperature of 37 degrees Celsius and cannot function at high temperatures. Thermostable DNA polymerases are a class of enzymes which remain functional at high temperatures. Suitable enzymes can be obtained from bacteria such as Thermus aquaticus which live in hot springs at temperatures up to 95 degrees Celsius and whose DNA polymerase 1 enzyme has an optimum working temperature of 72 degrees Celsius. Thermostable DNA polymerase is the major component of PCR which requires one that is able to function at temperatures much higher than 37 degrees Celsius. Reverse transcriptase, one additional type of DNA polymerase important in molecular biology research is reverse transcriptase, which is an RNA dependent DNA polymerase. Reverse transcriptase is found in RNA viruses also called as retroviruses. Reverse transcriptase uses mRNA template instead of DNA for synthesizing new DNA strand. The complementary DNA strand formed on the mRNA template is called the complementary DNA. Formation of a double-stranded cDNA from the mRNA molecule using reverse transcriptase finds application in genetic engineering. Ligases are enzymes that join the nucleic acid molecules together. These nucleic acids can either be DNA or RNA. DNA ligases connect DNA fragments by catalyzing the formation of a phosphodiester bond between 3 hydroxyl and 5 phosphate group at a single strand break in double stranded DNA. In nature, DNA ligases are essential for joining Okazaki fragments during replication and in the last step of DNA repair process. Basically, there are two types of ligases. DNA ligases and RNA ligases. Because it can join two pieces of DNA, DNA ligase became a key enzyme in genetic engineering. If restriction digested fragments of DNA are placed together under appropriate conditions, the DNA fragments from two sources can anneal to form recombinant molecules by hydrogen bonding between the complementary base pairs of the sticky ends. DNA ligases are used in molecular biology to join DNA fragments generated by restriction enzymes, add linkers or adapters to DNA or repair NICs. Ligases join the DNA known as insert with a vector molecule and the reaction is known as ligation. The discovery of DNA ligases was equally important as that of restriction endonucleases in the development of recombinant DNA technology. In recombinant DNA technology, the most commonly used ligases is T4 DNA obtained from bacteriophage T4. It requires ATP as cofactor and magnesium ions for its activity and is able to perform both blunt and sticky and ligation. The greater efficiency of sticky and ligation has stimulated the development of methods for converting blunt ends into sticky ends. In one method, Short double-stranded molecules called linkers or adapters are attached to the blunt ends. Linkers and adapters contain a recognition sequence for a restriction endonuclease and so produce a sticky end after treatment with the appropriate enzyme. Apart from the above enzymes, there are some more enzymes which are included in the category of DNA and modifying enzymes. These are alkaline phosphatase, 
polynucleotide kinase and terminal transferase. Alkaline phosphatase removes the terminal phosphate group while polynucleotide kinase is involved in the addition of phosphate groups. Alkaline phosphatase plays an important role in cloning experiments and for preparing radio label DNA probes. Terminal transferase repeatedly adds nucleotides to any available 3' terminal ends, the most suitable being the protruding 3' ends. This enzyme is particularly useful to add homopolymer tails prior to the construction of recombinant DNA molecules. The term genetic engineer may be appropriate for an individual who is involved in genetic manipulations. The genetic engineer's toolkit or molecular tools are the enzymes most commonly used in recombinant DNA experiments. The basis of recombinant DNA technology is the ability to manipulate DNA molecules in the test tube. This in turn depends on the availability of purified enzymes whose activities are known and can be controlled and which can therefore be used to make specified changes to the DNA molecules that are being manipulated. Enzymes like DNA polymerases, ligases, restriction endonucleases and other end modifying enzymes are the basic tools for DNA modifications in the field of genetic engineering. Mm -hmm.